Okay, uh, let's go ahead now and go to Larry Nichols, who was inside the Clinton crime operation, helped him get elected governor, but wouldn't be part of the MENA Arkansas cocaine dealing that we've had multiple guests on about that even came out in mainstream news. Wouldn't be part of the murder of children. Hit his knees, repented like Saul of Tarsus, had that come to Jesus moment, and it was part of the Clinton Chronicles 1 and 2. We put out a free video uh, called The New Clinton Chronicles 2015, where we went up and interviewed him. Uh, he needs your prayers. He needs your support. Larry, I don't want to keep you too long today because I know you just got out of the hospital. Uh, do you want to go ahead and just square up with folks and tell them the situation you're in, or you want to just move on and not talk about it? Hey, let me tell you, Alex, I wish I would have heard you earlier this week. I was told, not to get off the subject, I was told that with my lung situation, I needed to get the pneumonia shot and the flu shot. So I got them. I just spent four days in the hospital and nearly died. I didn't even know so, that, Mike. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know, folks, please beware about that stuff. Don't don't fall into that thing that it's a, they say it was a dead virus that it couldn't hurt you. Yeah, well, let me tell you, it hurt me. Now, Alex, I got. Well, news. I mean, Larry, as you know, doctors until five years ago would always say a sick patient with cancer or a pregnant woman should never take a vaccine. Now they more aggressively push it because they don't want anyone right. to ever think it might be bad. So instead they go, no, no, pregnant women need two flu shots. Yeah. Sorry, well, go they ahead. They told me I needed to, but I just got the one of them with the pneumonia shot. Well, tell folks really what happened to me. you. I mean, I, I, you want to well, share? my lung collapsed. My lung collapsed. I just went in and I dehydrated. Everything in my body left. And it took four days in intensive care just to get here today. Now, I'm here today because, Alex, I'm telling you, it's happening. It's happening fast. Remember what I told you about a month ago? I said, watch for Biden. Well, here's what's going on, folks. Barack Hussein Obama is taking Hillary out. They're getting rid of her. Why? Because remember, to pull off the FEMA provisional government, you've got to get the president and both houses of Congress have got to agree that there's a state of national crisis. Bill and Hillary Clinton are the only ones that have enough power to go around and stop congressmen and senators from voting that away. So Obama now has put Biden out there, and he's going around directly. I found out from a very high person just yesterday, somebody very high in the former RNC, used to be a chairman, by the way, and he's sitting down. Al Sharpton is going into five or six major cities, and they're hiring paid harassers. Paid harassers. Now, why is that? Remember, all it takes to trigger a FEMA crisis, Alex, is four or five cities that break out all at one time. You know, Black Lives Matter, whatever you want to call it. And when that happens, then the people in the communities are going to panic. Because his law enforcement's not going to be able to Sure, this is how Soros so just brought down Ukraine, uh, playing off two different groups <laughs> against each other. There you go. Uh, uh, Catholics off against Russians, Westerners off against uh, Orthodox. And you can see Soros funding in here. It's on record. It's on the record. It's happening. Now, Alex, remember all those years that you talked about the FEMA camps and everybody called you crazy, called us crazy? Well, they're going to call us crazy again. But you better get ready, folks. Barack Hussein Obama is no more planning to leave the White House than I plan to be a duck. Matter of fact, I'll probably be a duck before he leaves the White House. <laughs> he is doing everything in his power. He is setting up his circle of power. Now, remember when I told you Netanyahu? What Netanyahu told me? Benjamin Netanyahu told me that as a part of the, the uh, Iranian deal, that Obama was setting up what? They were negotiating what? With Caliphate. ISIS. Yeah. They were setting up a unified Islam, a unified caliphate. What 
what did we hear today? The Russians are bombing our guys. The Russians are actually bombing our guys. Now, our guys consist of nine people that we spent $500 million to train to fight ISIS. Alex, everything is moving towards Islam, but I got a story to scare you to death. Now, you and I are going to have to talk off air because people's lives are literally at risk. Just got this. Friend of mine in California, friend of yours, by the way, <coughs> in California knows a person that details cars, has a big detail operation, and he details for the major car dealers in California, let's just leave it there. He was detailing one, and it for a Pakistani dealer owner that owns three major dealerships. And when he was cleaning the car, he opened up the glove box, and out fell an ISIS flag. Now, folks, that black flag is a war flag. Do you hear me? That's a war flag. That's not a, we're proud to be a Muslim. It's not what that is. Well, that's, that's we're a conquering you. We're going to chop your head off flag. It's a war flag. That's right. It's, now, it's, a, it's a Wahhabist um, Al-Qaeda flag. Alex, that literally happened yesterday. Yesterday. And uh, with your permission, I'd like to explore it a little more. The problem is... With our government, it's risky. It's risky for the people that saw it. You know that. There's that flag right there. Uh, it's dangerous. But they're here now, Alex. They're here now. And Obama is working to set us up as a caliphate, caliphate under Islam. Let me continue. Look at how they've used Europe. With, with the French president saying, we're under an emergency, this is total war, give us emergency powers to stop the influx of immigrants that they advertise to come in. They're doing the same thing here. It's destabilizing on purpose <coughs> so they can seize power. And now even the Guardian's reporting total financial collapse coming this winter. And did you see the day where the prime minister of England finally came out and said, Islam's bad. Islam's bad. I mean, he literally came out and said it, yet our president refuses to, <coughs> refuses to. So, Alex, I'm going to say this. We're in more danger, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not hysterical. I'm not an alarmist. I'm not a conspiracy nut. I think if you look, Alex, pound for pound, you know this, I hope. Well, you had Matt Drudge, Matt will tell you. Pound for pound, look at the stuff I've said over the years, and look what of it's come true. I'm we were talking about you at dinner, and he said, what's old's new? Absolutely. Yeah. And look, guys, I'm trying to tell you the truth. This is my country, and I love it dearly, and I'm trying to do everything I can to save it. As a matter of fact, Salad, I made a video to call states' rights. The only way we're going to save this country is with states' rights. And people can get it right here. It's the only other video I've ever done. I, I don't do videos, but this In is... In fact, I wanted to have you on separately about that, but we're going to break. Come back and tell us about that. You're absolutely right. We've got to take the states back and say no to what's coming. And people being aware is the key. And I want to ask you, how big a deal is it the Republicans kicked out Boehner? They're now kicking out McCarthy. I mean, th there is a pushback. This is good there news. Is. And it's not the word for Hillary or Obama, but clearly you said months ago that, uh, that it's Obama going after Hillary. Look for Biden to get in. That means that they're taking her out. And you're saying more evidence of that is now mounting. So who's worse, a Hillary or an Obama? Uh, we'll talk about it all straight ahead. I just do not know what's worse of those two. It's like cancer or being hit by a Mack truck. I mean, I just, you know. Larry Nichols is our guest and... He, of course, wrote a book, The Genie's Out of the Bottle. He's put out a new film detailing uh, states' rights. He is also battling cancer right now. You heard him say that after he got shots at the hospital, pushes on you when you're in there, that it almost killed him. Almost killed my mother, almost killed my uncle. My grandmother got polio one month after she took it. She's 90 years old right now, but has been on crutches since the 50s when my mother was four years old. Just everyone I know has been maimed by vaccines. They go, there's no side effects, everything's fine. Uh, Larry Nichols will be with us 15 minutes in the next hour.
And then we've got Wayne Madsen on huge Hillary Clinton news uh, joining us. Evidence suggests Clinton ran a parallel outsourced State Department. That was the headline this morning. I changed it to evidence shows Clinton ran a parallel outsourced State Department. <clears throat> but regardless, there is a war between these two groups going on right now. Uh, Larry Nichols, tell folks how they get this new film, and, and that'll also support you and what you're doing, because you deserve right. support. Uh, Alex, it's go to statesrights.video, states right, plural, S-T-A-T-E-S-R-I-G-H-T-S, one word, statesrights.video. And I guess it'll be up here on, on your network. But now, guys, I'm telling you, the only way we're going to stop this is through states' rights. And some states got to move and got to move now. You ask an interesting question, Alex, before the break. Which is worse, Hillary or Obama? Let me tell you, we can stop Hillary. Obama pulls off separating us. We're dead. We're dead. Once they divide us up under the FEMA provisional, it's over, buddy. It's over. You know, Alex, I see every day. I got three people today told me they have turned off their television and all they watch is Alex Jones program. So, buddy, whether you want it or not, you're in the firing line. And I'm sorry. I don't think it's a nice place to be right now. We're playing against some tough characters. Very tough. But you better believe Obama wants this country. Obama wants a unified Israel, uh, Islam. And he's working every day to get it. And we're a caliphate. That's all we are to him. We are a caliphate. And you got to realize someday, excuse Ralph, someday, you know, you and I can sit in and tell people exactly what is involved in a FEMA provisional government. But basically what it is, it's martial law. And you've been talking about these camps they've been putting up for years. And People now Hillary getting... talks about fun camps for men, and the yeah. Army admits uh, re-education yeah. re centers. They even use the term re-education centers. Well, the only re-education they're going to do is to eliminate people that still believe in America. So I, I ask everybody, do yourself a favor. There's a trailer. You can watch the trailer for the video, but please get it and pass it around. We've got to get, Alex, one state. One state has got to stand up. We've got to get one governor they to stand up. They think it's Texas. Up. They think it's Texas, and that's why they've indicted the attorney general and want to indict uh, Governor Abbott, the, de the Democrats, right now. You bet. Well, if it is, problem Texas has got to be quite honest. They've got too many Mexicans. I don't know that, I don't know that you could get a majority of Americans in Mexico. I mean, in Texas. But... Yeah, but, I'll take any state. But the illegals Oklahoma aren't all voting. Here's the thing. The illegals aren't all voting for the Democrats. And I don't think that the average Mexican wants to be a socialist. So, Well, at this point, Alex, you and I have got to say the craziest thing you and I will probably ever say in our lifetime. Between Hillary and Obama, we got to be for Hillary. With Hillary, we have time to save the country. Hold on. With I, Obama, I hear this. we don't. Yeah. I don't know. Caliphate's looking pretty good. I'm joking. What? I tell you, you talk about crazy. Yeah, oh boy, I tell you. Larry Nichols is our guest. While we're talking about all this bad stuff, there's some cool stuff. Blue skies on Pluto. NASA New Horizons probe spots gorgeous vistas on the icy dwarf planet. You know, Larry, getting into demographics, I know that you ran the Democratic Party strategy of breaking America up into different racial groups. And it's not that you... Are, are, are bashing Hispanics or, or, or Mexicans from Mexico. You're just simply saying a lot of them end up voting Democrat and then they end up voting illegally because the Democrats are there posing as their buddies. The good news is Gallup shows like 69% of Hispanics, whether they be legal, illegal, citizens, whatever, don't want open borders and get we can't take all of Latin America. So I've found that the, at least the feds think Texas is a big problem for them, at least in the short term, uh, and have a lot of Pentagon plans written up for that. Uh, during even what the John Warner Defense Authorization Act wrote about in 2007 about stopping insurrection of the states. So when you talk about FEMA, COG, continuity of government systems, that's all being warmed up right now. It's being taken out of mothballs. It's being turned on. I'm not saying they're about to do this, but they certainly are mainlining it and going, yeah, Army.mil, 
We got re-education camps. We're going to put political problem people in them and 